Welcome to the ICH Guideline video series. In this video tutorial on ICH Q14 guidelines, we will cover science-based strategies for drug quality assessment, integrating methods from ICH Q8, Q9, and Q2. This video will focus on multivariate analysis, real-time testing, and regulatory compliance. The ICH Q14 guideline advocates for science and risk-based strategies in the development and maintenance of analytical procedures to assess drug quality. It incorporates methods from ICH Q8 and Q9, offering traditional and enhanced development approaches. The guideline includes multivariate analysis and real-time release testing RTRT, augmenting ICH Q2's validation principles. It stresses the importance of providing development information to regulatory bodies to ensure procedures are fit for their intended use. The ICH Q14 guideline emphasizes risk management, performance adherence, and enhanced approaches to improve performance, aid control strategies, and streamline future regulatory adjustments. The guideline also recommends documenting analytical procedures development and life cycle in the common technical document CTD, format, as outlined by ICHM4Q. This guideline covers new or revised analytical procedures for testing commercial drug substances and products, applicable to both chemical and biological types. It's also relevant for other analytical methods in control strategies and can be phase appropriately applied during clinical development. It may extend to various product types with regulatory consultation, but doesn't include developing pharmacopoeial procedures. This section outlines strategies for developing analytical procedures with high specificity, accuracy, and precision, using minimal and enhanced approaches. Existing procedures may be adapted to new products, simplifying development and reducing validation tests. Development data, like robustness from design of experiments do, can also serve as validation data, guided by ICHQ2. The minimal approach to analytical procedure development involves identifying necessary drug attributes for testing, selecting appropriate technology and instruments, and performing development studies to evaluate characteristics like specificity, accuracy, and precision. It concludes with defining a detailed procedure description, including control strategies like parameter settings and system suitability. The enhanced analytical procedure development approach includes evaluating sample variability, defining analytical targets, and conducting risk assessments. It involves detailed experimentation to understand parameter interactions and establishes a robust control strategy. This approach leads to more robust and flexible procedures, improved control, and efficient life cycle management, ultimately reducing effort and enhancing reliability. The guidelines figure 1 depicts the analytical procedure life cycle, highlighting development, change management, and ICHQ2 covered validation. Elements vary by intended use and approach, with potential concurrent occurrences. The analytical target profile, ATP, influenced by the quality target product profile, is vital for procedure development, determining necessary attributes and performance criteria. ATP guides technology selection, procedure design, and continual improvement, ensuring long-term suitability. Annex provides ATP examples. Knowledge management in analytical procedure development combines internal experience with external scientific insights, guiding technique selection and aligning with best practices and regulations. Utilizing existing procedures for new products minimizes development, while continuous knowledge updates ensure ongoing improvement and adaptability. ICHQ9 Annex 1 outlines methods to enhance analytical performance, including identifying key parameters, prioritizing experiments, establishing control strategies, and advocating for ongoing monitoring and effective risk communication within the pharmaceutical quality system.
analytical procedure robustness assesses performance stability by varying key parameters, informed by prior knowledge and risk assessment. Often evaluated during development, it integrates into the control strategy, with validation data supplementing the assessment. Multivariate procedures require additional considerations. Experimental analysis of parameter ranges enhances understanding. Attributes and criteria come from the analytical target profile, ATP. Univariate analysis establishes proven acceptable ranges, PAR, for single parameters. In an enhanced approach, multivariate experiments explore ranges and interactions, guided by risk assessment and prior knowledge. Development studies clarify variable response relationships, allowing fixed set points, PARs, or inclusion in a method operational design region MODR. Regulatory approval is needed for parameter range adjustments. Validation focuses on characteristics not covered by development data and is detailed in Annex B. A robust analytical procedure control strategy is essential for consistent performance, involving controls based on prior knowledge, risk assessment, and development data. It includes parameters, a system suitability test, and detailed analysis steps. SST ensures measurement adequacy, while ongoing monitoring is crucial for trend detection, aligning with PQS expectations. ICHQ-12 guidelines enable defining established conditions ECs, for analytical procedures, based on risk assessment and experimentation. ECs vary depending on the development approach and procedure complexity, focusing on performance aspects like specificity and precision. They encompass criteria, procedure principles, and parameter ranges. The enhanced approach requires detailed regulatory submissions, including ECs in the Common Technical Documents Module 3. Analytical procedures may undergo changes throughout a product's life cycle, including modifications or introductions of new technologies. Such changes are driven by process knowledge, analytical procedure knowledge, and the goal of continual improvement. ICHQ-12 provides tools for managing changes in analytical procedures throughout a product's life cycle, including risk-based change categorization, established conditions ECs. Post-approval change management protocols, PACMPs, product life cycle change management documents, and the pharmaceutical quality system PQS. Changes are reported as per regional requirements, with risk assessments defining reporting categories. The approach ensures effective change management and continuous evaluation of analytical procedures performance. Multivariate analytical procedures involve results derived from a multivariate calibration model using multiple input variables. This guideline focuses on models with latent variables related to directly measured variables. While similar principles apply to machine learning approaches like neural networks, specific methods vary and are not detailed here. Developing a robust multivariate procedure includes justified sample selection, range distribution, sample size, model variable selection, and data pre-processing. Multivariate models link variables to reference values, demanding accuracy and homogeneity in reference samples. Selection is crucial, covering different materials, processes, and conditions. Risk tools identify measurement impacts, and combining lab, pilot, and commercial samples ensures variability capture. Calibration and validation set distributions impact predictability, with independent samples proving model robustness. Variable selection is crucial in model development, involves choosing relevant variables like wavelength ranges in spectroscopy to best estimate the property being modeled. This selection depends on the measurement principle and application, and must be justified. Data transformation methods depend on data type, instrumentation, intended model use, or prior knowledge. Transformations must be approached with caution to avoid introducing artifacts or losing vital information, and all transformations should be documented and justified. Robustness in model development aims to minimize prediction error and ensure consistent long-term performance. It involves incorporating variability sources like materials, process, and environment. Robustness depends on factors like calibration set composition, data transformation methods, 
variable selection, and latent variable count. The balance between accuracy and robustness is key, and the number of latent variables must be carefully chosen to avoid overfitting and ensure optimal model performance. Recalibration and model maintenance in multivariate analytical procedures involve continuous performance tracking using statistical diagnostic tools. These tools, such as residual and outlier analysis, assess unmodeled data features and ensure data alignment with model construction. Regular confirmatory testing against reference methods or samples is crucial to validate ongoing model performance, with triggers for testing including new process variabilities or instrument maintenance. Model monitoring can prompt recalibration, incorporating new relevant data and excluding outdated information. The updated model is validated against original performance criteria. The multivariate model life cycle, comprising model establishment, routine production, and maintenance, is iterative and incorporates risk assessment and knowledge management within the pharmaceutical quality system PQS. The process may require model reassessment and revalidation, adapting to new findings or maintaining current model limits. Measurement system issues might not necessitate model updates. This ongoing cycle ensures the model's appropriateness and reliability in analytical procedures. Real-time release testing RTRT, development RTRT assesses in process and final product quality using process data and measured material attributes, working with control strategy elements to ensure product quality. It requires specific combinations of process measurements slash material attributes to predict product critical quality attributes. CQAs, necessitating full justification and validation. General regulatory considerations and documentation, analytical procedures, including validation data and control strategies, should be detailed in the ICHM 4 QCTD sections for drug substances and products. Validation follows ICHQ2 guidelines, with criteria included in the submission. Development data may be submitted for justification, depending on the procedure's use. Documentation for the enhanced approach For an enhanced approach, the dossier should detail performance characteristics, acceptance criteria, and elements like mores or powers. Proposed established conditions ECs, must be justified and included, with risk-based categorization of changes. The submission should not reduce the analytical procedure description's detail. Multivariate analytical procedure development information should align with its impact level. The dossier should include model development, calibration, and validation information, with validation information for reference methods. The CTD section or an appendix can detail these. For RTRE, the dossier should describe the property or attribute of interest, measurement principles, calibration data approach, and model type. It should also include descriptions of any alternate control strategies to RTRT. Thank you for completing the ICHQ14 training video. Remember, these guidelines are crucial for improving pharmaceutical analytical methods. Stay tuned for more such contents.